Hey everyone, how's it going? John here from Worship Gear Collective to show you my 2024 pedal board setup. Now, 2023 was not too long ago, as you know, and I think there's a little bit of difference on here that you will definitely notice, and hopefully in the sound for sure. Today though, we're gonna go over the pedal board, the changes, the sounds, and the guitars, give you some different sounds, and as well as some B-roll of all the settings. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below, and please, uh, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Feel free to like the video even, it's free. Why not? Let's do it. So let's jump right into it though. First and foremost, I have the Dingus, the Voodoo Lab Dingus. That is my, how I get everything into the actual board itself. I was going straight into my compressor and I had honestly gotten a little concerned about the jack getting damaged. So I thought having a pass through could be a really good solution to that. It has two inputs into it or an input and output depending on who you are. And so if I ever had to go mono, for example, I could run a big 24 inch cable right to this two and go right out of that or some and go right out the back of the, the stomp. It doesn't really matter. So the first thing that's getting hit is the Keeley compressor. It is the four knob. You've seen this compressor before. I run it pretty, I would say pretty mild as far as the compressor goes. Nothing really too crazy. I just want to have a little more, mm, I like to have the little less, a little more squish to it, but nothing too crazy. Since I've added some pedals, I've noticed a little bit of volume with the way I've just been playing and sitting on my amps. It could just be me. So I added the PC Electronics Spark Mini Booster. It's a loud pedal, man. Let me tell you, I have it right here to this like barely on and it is plenty loud. And it just adds that little bit when it's completely clean. It, when in the very rare time they don't have a, a dry pedal on, just adds a little more something to it. Next is my JHS section. As you can see, the Morning Glory, which is maybe my favorite pedal of all time. I love a Blues Breaker circuit, but there's something about this particular pedal that uh, JHS, Josh, out of the park with it. It goes right into the kilt, which I feel like is a pretty standard Bethel, thanks a lot, David. <laughs> pretty standard overdrive combo, a Blues Breaker and the kilt, whatever that's supposed to be named after, as well the red remote that just goes right to the, the fuzz setting on this for that extra added. You know what, before I get any further, let's hear some stuff. I'm gonna cut to a clean signal without any drive pedals on right now. So you just heard these two pedals. Let's add the blues breaker real quick. So after that blues breaker, like I said, the kilt and without blues breaker, so as they maybe drive two opposed to a stacked. together to get this sound. I run this pretty standard as far as drives into volume and that's just the Ernie Ball pedal. I know this also doubles as a tuner but I personally did not love the tuner feature on this. So I got the Boss TUS3, TU3S, excuse me, and it's an always on stroke tuner. It does the job. It's a tuner by Boss. The thing's gonna survive when the end of the world is done. And that just goes right out of the tuner, so it just gets signal and can be always on. But when I go for my volume pedal, I do go into the Juliana Chorus pedal. Now, this pedal I honestly kind of struggled with for a while. I didn't really like it. I almost sold it and just went uh, effects loop. And in the previous video, I was running my wet effects after my amps and I really liked the sound of that. You know, I'm used to playing a Helix. I've always played Helix. I had not had a pedal board up until 2023, and so I was used to putting wet effects after the amps as far as workflow and the Helix went. So I was doing that for a while, and it was okay. Um, so I was actually debating the Juliana getting rid of it and using the 70s chorus in the line six. I ended up though switching some stuff around, found a setting I loved, and I've just taken pictures of it so I don't ever lose <laughs> this sound. Uh, it does the thing I want for sure right now. And it sounds like this. It 
tells the thing. I feel like I'm going for my like favorite chorus sound is I Belong to Jesus, that opening part, which I played there. And, you know, that's my like chorus standard for if I like the chorus or not. And so I got that sound that I was happy with and I'm really happy with it. So outside of my, after my Juliana that it goes stereo, I go into the Strymon timeline and honestly I use it for quarter notes, for big swells. I use like a, uh, a big panned wide eighth note and then I have a dotted eighth that I use as well that I'm, I use for most of my stuff. It's either quarter note though or dotted eighth and very rarely, I feel like I definitely <laughs> underuse the Strymon stuff for sure. I feel like I'm trying to get better at using those specifically the Big Sky. Now, I fully admit I am a cloud fan for sure. I have a cloud setting, I have a hall that I use as well sometimes, and a room. These two are pretty low mix, but if I'm playing lead, it's all cloud, and then it, it response, that's like your ambient swells, and that's my super, super big mix, super wet uh, cloud, if you will. And those cloud settings sound like this. <laughs> I just use this DM3 as a preset switcher between my Big Sky and my timeline. I definitely underutilized it. I used to use it for my HX stomp when I was running effects in my stomp, but since I put my, I'm using it more as an amp modeler, I put it to the end and I've stopped using it. So one thing I am excited that is different. For a while I was using uh, the Bethel amps, the David Hislops, and I was using the Jake Favors Matchman patches, which are awesome. And those are linked in his bio. Go hit, check out his Instagram. Go tell Jake we said hi over there though. Um, Right now I'm using the Tone Junkie Fender 65 and their Bad Cat 30 uh, left and right and that's what you've been hearing the whole time here it is clean again. After it goes out of the HX Stomp I go stereo into the canvas and the line setting. It just adds a little extra volume instead of having to have them try and gain me out. Now let's talk about the guitars that I'm using on all my projects really right now. Using my PRS Silver Sky again, my SE. I love this thing, it's the strat that I just fell in love with. I was struggling with Fender strats, I've already said all this. Single coils for days, can't be too upset with this. I honestly go between this and my orange one right there, right next to me, a ton. The neck on this thing is fantastic. <laughs> with a P90 in it. I love this guitar. Um, sentimental as heck. And it's, yeah, P90 in the bridge, Broadtron humbucker style in the neck, and the gigantic block inlays, rosewood fingerboard. This is a great guitar. Gold, blue, super cool. Uh, yeah, I like loud colors. And so this as a rhythm guitar has been awesome. And here's this, me playing a little rhythm with it. <laughs> not last but third here today is my you saw this in the first one this is my number one my baby for sure my Gretsch center block in orange Man, I love an orange guitar I love an orange Gretsch specifically this is just quite a monster of a guitar it is my favorite thing the one I might even run into a burning building to grab aside from my my dad's guitar that's sitting over here on the side to me that you can see in my studio tour video yeah here's this sound again you've heard this already all over this channel but here it is one more time <laughs> And yeah, that's my 2024 pedal board setup. It, like I said, not a ton different, but it is a bit different than what I was doing before. So as far as the amps and an added pedal or two, honestly, the cloud was definitely a new one for me. I was using just the hall reverb before on this and experimenting for sure. So. Yeah, I'm really happy with the sound I'm getting. I feel like I'm actually accomplishing my goal a little bit more. And I'm excited for 2024 to see if there's any additions that'll make the cut. So yeah, until then, thanks so much for watching and let us know below what you want to see.
So until then, I've been John. See you later. Peace. Next is my JHX section. My J. <laughs> Next is the JHX. Next is the JHX. Oh my God.